Jackba, we get tons Nigerian youths. Those who reject taxi driving embrace it abroad. And they will embrace it abroad now because it is better abroad. They can fend for themselves without taxi driving abroad better than doing it in Nigeria. So, taunting Nigeria youths, now it's a bill, they will still jackba to go and wash dead bodies, to go and take care of people that are sick. It is better because they will make cool money and they can be able to sustain themselves with that money rather than t staying here in Nigeria. So what are you saying? Now to the news info, FCC Minister Yesam Wiki has tackled Nigerians, especially the youth who condemn taxi driving in the country. We have so many Uber drivers in the country. What, 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 are they not working? But you increase fuel price, what do you expect them to do? Hmm? They can't even sustain them with the Uber driving that they are doing because this man just comes out to talk anyhow. I don't. The former reverse governor mocks them and claims they reject driving in Nigeria but embrace it abroad because abroad it is working. Abroad is working better than Nigeria, so they will go there and do taxi driving work than doing it in Nigeria. We came with this assertion on Thursday during the SCT Renewed Hope Youth Empowerment Program in Abuja where he gave out new cars to beneficiaries to be used as taxes. See the kind of empowerment that they are empowering people. Graduates. People that graduate that went to school for four years. Did NYSE for one year. You are, you are turning them to taxi drivers. You cannot build factories. You cannot build companies. We have a lot of intellectuals in this country. You are, you are subjecting them to become taxi drivers. And you are happy with that. I beg. It's on weekend. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory has emphasized that many Nigerians who disdain taxi driving at home readily accept it abroad. Wiki calls it a noble means of livelihood that should be embraced to make a decent income. We cannot talk say you did. Oh, I beg, we cannot talk within them in my mind, I beg. The minister made this assertion during the SCT Renewed Hope Youth Empowerment Program in Abuja on Thursday, October 31, where he handed over new cars to beneficiaries to be used as taxes. They are not paying a dime, no. The government is saying this is our support to feed your family and reduce the cost of transportation in the city. I shall give them car, are you giving them money for, for fuel? Maintenance income of the car. Or you think car is, is a, it, car is a liability. It is a liability. So you think that by doing this now, we should start clapping for you, that you're helping the youth, turning your youth to drivers, and you're happy. I don't understand. Abuja should compete with other cities in the world. The minister said they're competing with other cities by turning your residents to taxi drivers, all of them. These people don't know what they are saying. As reported by the Nigerian Tribune, we can encourage the recipients not to be ashamed of their new roads as taxi drivers, saying that many Nigerians who rejected taxi driving jobs at home gladly embrace such when they travel abroad. It's, the, make, it's them trying to justify their actions for me trying to justify the reasons why they are being a mediocre. You are turning your residents to the taxi drivers and saying that, oh, tax, they are turning to taxi drivers abroad. It's a lie. Most of them go there, even with their taxi driving job, they get to do other jobs on the side, go to school, and better themselves. It's not as if they are going to remain taxi drivers for life. But this one, you are empowering them to become taxi drivers for life and telling them not to be ashamed. Oh, if you have a means to jackpa from this country, by all means, do it. It is better to be a taxi driver in UK than to be a taxi driver here in Nigeria. Mm? Your suffering continues. Ne? What you will see in the social media is that he wants to be. He wants them to be taxi driver. Yes, that is what you want us to be. We travel and see Nigerians who stay abroad and work as tra taxi drivers. UK said, speaking further. A former River State governor highlighted the irony of those who boast about relatives overseas while ignoring the reality of their earnings as taxi drivers. Nigerians at home will say, Our uncle is in London, my uncle is in Houston, my uncle is in Paris, my uncle has sent $200. But he, the uncle abroad, makes his money as a taxi driver, feeds his family, and pays his taxes. At least he's making enough money, good money, there, abroad. Send it two hundred dollars home through taxi driving job. Do you think that one is 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 beans and rice? Can such person make that kind of money in Nigeria? Before you know, police will collect their own. 
FIS will collect their own. Ad bureaus will collect their own. You are telling them that, uh, uh, I beg you. We can explain. Instead of encouraging how to feed our families, the next thing we will see in social media is that they are giving them jobs as taxi driver. Yes, that is what you are doing. And that is how we are going to say it. We can't be taxi drivers here, but we prefer taxi driving in London. That is the country you are in. Channel TV confirmed the development in the publication on Thursday. Earlier, Ladies NG reported that President Bola Senobu approved 10 billion naira for youth development in the ACT. So the youth development that they gave you 10 billion naira for, decided to go and use it to buy a taxi for your youth. Youth that have sense, that has tech brain, that has intellect, you don't know what else to do. To, to, to create a company, a tech company, that would bring more revenues into the country, you are, you are buying taxi for them, turning them to drivers, and you, you should be clapping for you because you are doing well. The Minister of the SEC Wiki announced the development on Monday, October 28th. He added that the empowerment will be inaugurated by the end of the month. Wiki also disclosed that President Tinubu prioritized women and youth progress, which is where Tinubu created Women's and Youth Development Secretariat. I beg you, you can park for one side. One layer Roma says, a very sick man, very clueless, a very clueless man, because he does not know what he's doing. Nina Godwin says, why not empower your own children as taxi drivers? Arrogant fool. In your little brain, you think you are doing our graduates youth a favor by asking them to venture into taxi driving. In other words, mocking education, all institutions, who betide you? Sadist, yes. It's a sadist. People went to school for four years, paying school fees. People struggled to pay their school fees just to graduate. They graduate and now you are turning them to taxi drivers and you expect them to be happy with you because uh, the, most of them that travel out of the country are turning to taxi drivers. They are making better money there than here in Nigeria. Azuka Dokla says, now too much of Google when they consume the worry. Him. No wonder. No wonder. It is better to be a truck pusher abroad than to be a cab driver in this God-forsaken country that you, you, your paymasters have destroyed completely. Bring your son back from abroad and give him one of those cabs to start, to start driving. Very nonsensical man. Moshud Akim says, but there is no Adberu over there. They do driving there. They earn better money. Yes. Police will collect their own from them in this country. Adberu will collect. Something, something will happen. I are telling them that mocking us. Just talking anyhow, acting as if he's doing something really good. You're not working, you're not doing anything, as far as I'm concerned. You're not. Nana says, now I clearly understand why Tipping brought you in to destroy your life and disgrace yourself with your own hands before turning to himself, Mr. Ogogoro. The Ogogoro is really working wonders in his life because he's, he's doing the rubbish with, with all audacity and confidence. Bring your children from abroad to come and turn to taxi drivers. Nonsense. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.